They really didn't understand what the word graffiti meant. <laughs> they didn't. Mm -hmm. The studio executives generally are not the most sophisticated people in the world. <laughs> and you will find that if you go to Hollywood. I hope you don't, because you don't want to be oppressed by people who are not as smart as you are. <laughs> and I'm dumb. <laughs> and obviously, um, I was not happy with Hollywood. I didn't want anything to do with them. I, and I did I never made a movie in Hollywood, actually. I've made them everywhere else but Hollywood. You know, I avoided the studio because I was in San Francisco, and they didn't bother to come up there. They didn't really bother to read the script. So THX, they freaked out when they saw it, obviously. Uh, took all their money back from the studio, tried to recut it, tried to shorten it. I said, it, you can't understand it anyway. Why are you trying to shorten it? It's not going to make it make any more sense. And, uh, but they said, we, we, we can do it. I said, five minutes is not going to make it. Why do you want to do that? You know, I put my heart and soul in this thing, and to me, it, it means something. You know, you just come in here and whack a few fingers off and think there's nothing to it. And so I was really angry about that. And then they did the same thing in American Graffiti because they thought it was a terrible movie. They put it on the shelf. They cut it. They cut five minutes out, the magic number. I said, why would you do that? I said, it doesn't make any difference. They said, well, we did it because we can do it. And I got really upset. They put it on the shelf. And so I was determined from under that thing of having them make cuts. And uh, so what happened was once uh, Star Wars was a hit, I had out of defense acquired the sequel rights because they figured it wasn't going to go anywhere. Anyway. No, nobody thought it was going to make any money. So it was like half of nothing is nothing. So they <laughs> let me have the sequel rights. Uh, so I went to them and I said, look, I don't want, I'm, I'll take my salary. I'm not going to ask for a million dollars. I signed the deal memo and that's what I believe in. But this, everything is not mentioned in the deal memo. I'm going to relook at. <laughs> it's about action yeah, figures. All the money's in the action figures. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> You know, so you, me, if you own the movie, yeah. which I came to do, you make a lot of money. Uh, but you have to own it. But that means you have to put the money in. You know, so you have to take the risk. You know, mm -hmm. the story of that was when I was talking to Laddie, Lad Jr., you know, on, on the first Star Wars. We were sitting in his office, and I said, and the deal was, you know, I got my $125,000, and I said, you know, now we're splitting the profits, net profits. Nobody ever, ever, ever made money on net profit. No. <laughs> ever. You just can't because they just stack the deck against you. And I said, but I had 50% of the net profits because I was going, my company was going off. We were making the movie. And I said, you know, I know what I'm doing for my 50%. You know, I put my heart and soul in this. My whole career is at stake. I've got to actually go out and make the movie. I've got all this stuff that I have to do for my 50%. What are you doing for your 50%? <laughs> they said, well, I provide the money. I said, you don't provide the money. I said, you go to a bank with a letter of credit, and they supply the money. So you're not doing anything, and you get 50% of the movie. <laughs> so then I came back for Empire Strikes Back, and I handed them this deal and had redone the contract. Instead of them giving their boilerplate contract, I gave them the boilerplate contract. <laughs> but I went into Laddie. And I said, uh, well, here's the deal. And um, you know, I'm going to finance the film this time. I said, well, okay. And he looked at it and he said, well, wait a minute. You're getting 100% of the profits. I said, yeah. I'm financing it. Remember that 50% that you had that you were using? For well, I'm doing that now. So you don't get that 50%, and I get my own 50%. So now I got 100%. I'll give you a little distribution agreement on the side here.